Welcome to KILL AM 12000. I'm your host, Dr. Flint McHart. You're on the air. Am I on the air? Yes, you're still on the air. What can I do for you today? I've got a problem. I love my wife, but... You're seeing a girl at the office. Am I right? Well, I love my wife, but... Am I right? Answer the question. Yes, you're right. But I love my wife and I don't know how to break the news to her. Why should you break the news to her? I beg your pardon? What good would that do? That would just make her unhappy, and then you'd be unhappy, right? I guess so. But isn't that... getting caught. Would that make it easier? I suppose it would. Okay, here's what you do. Set up an accident. Does your wife work? No, she stays at home and watches the kids. Kids! You should have mentioned kids before. That puts everything in a whole new light. What should I do? Get one of those automatic light timers, open it up, and set a wire to short circuit at 3.32 in the afternoon. Plug it in under the curtains near your main entryway. I don't get it. You're at work. You've got an alibi. This way, the kids will be home from school, and you should be able to pop the whole family at once. That's it? Almost. Increase your homeowners and life insurance policies. It only makes sense. Thanks for calling, Steve. I want to take a moment to recognize our sponsors, including Snowden's Jewelers. Remember your loved ones with a diamond from Snowden's. And by Murphy's Mortuary. Remember your loved ones with a burial by Murphy. Next caller, this is Dr. Flint McCart. You're on the air. Yes, doctor. I've got a problem. That's what I'm here for. What can I do for you today? Well, my husband doesn't always seem to hear me when we talk. It's like he's listening, but he just doesn't hear. He gets everything mixed up in his head. Could you give me an example? Like the other day, we were watching the football game, and I asked him about the lawn. Uh-huh. Well, I told him it was a beautiful day, not too hot, and the sun was out, and there was a nice breeze. Uh-huh. So I asked him when would he go out and cut it. So your husband, did you say? Yes. He doesn't listen, do you? Yes. Is there any way to get his attention? Yes. As a matter of fact, there is. There is? Yes. A shotgun is a great attention getter. You want me to threaten him? No. I want you to shoot him. Shoot him? Try to get him in the mouth from the ground. Maybe while he's in an easy chair. Then write a note saying goodbye. You can't be serious. I'm deadly serious. That's a joke. <laughs> well, thank you, doctor. I'll take your advice to heart. Now I want to pause for a moment to mention another one of our sponsors. Acme Floral Arrangements now has specials on used funeral bouquets. Acme, for all your memorial needs. Next caller, you're on the air. Yeah, I just wanted to give some advice to one of your previous callers. Young man, you must rub the clitoris. That is the only way to make your loved one feel happy. You don't have to kill her, just rub the clitoris, ice the nipples, and have a good time with her. Dr. Ruth? Is that you? Yeah, of course it's me. Listeners, we have Dr. Ruth Westheimer on the line here. Welcome, Dr. Ruth. Yeah, hi there, Flint. I just wanted to tell that last caller that if you take your clothes off during the football game, you get your husband's attention that way, you see. Just a moment, Dr. Ruth. I've got another call. Let me put you on hold for half a second. You're on the air with Dr. Flint McCart. How can I help you? Yeah, hello. 
I wanted to ask your advice about my wife. Yes, Mr. Westheimer. What you want to do is have her studio cleaned out so the floor is still wet when she walks in for a radio program.